I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on differentiation of trigonometric inverse functions. We need to differentiate y equals to tan inverse square root of 1 plus x square plus x with respect to x, right? So we need to differentiate with respect to x. Now, in such questions, the idea is to simplify so that we get tan term within this, which we can if I make a simple substitution. So if I substitute x with, uh, let's say, tan theta, and then solve, we can actually simplify this. So if x equals to tan theta, then theta equals to tan inverse x, correct? So that's the substitution which we are going to make in this. So we have y equals to tan inverse within brackets, square root of 1 plus tan square theta plus tan theta, correct? Now, this could be written as tan inverse 1 plus tan square theta secant square theta, right? So we'll write this as secant square theta plus tan theta. Now, this is tan secant square theta square root will give us secant theta plus tan theta. So still we have two terms. Now the idea is to convert them to sine and cosine. So we could write this as 1 over cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta, right? Now we can take cos theta, cos theta common. So we get tan inverse. So if I take cos theta common, I get 1 plus sine theta in the numerator. Okay. So still, we are actually far from our derivation of converting them into tan terms. Now what I'm going to do is rewrite these terms with half angle formulas, right? Uh, I do have a proof for this in a separate video, which link I'll provide you with. So you can go through that to understand the intricacies involved in proving trigonometric identities, right? Now, since this is an exercise for derivatives, I hope you remember this. You may have to review some of the uh, formulas. Now, we can write 1 as uh, cos square theta plus sine square theta, right? I can also replace this as uh, sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2, right? This is also 1, right? Uh, plus sine theta, I'll replace as 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Do you get an idea, right? So we'll, we are kind of writing half angle formulas. Now, cos 2 theta, you know, is 2 cos square theta minus 1. And also cos square theta minus sine square theta. So I could write cos theta as cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2, right? So, so I've written cos 2 theta formula. I've kind of modified and written in this form as half angle formula, correct? So I hope that is clear. So you may have to review some trigonometry uh, formulas uh, for some of these uh, questions. Anyway, the numerator here could be written as, as a perfect square, correct? So the numerator could be written as sine theta by 2 plus cos theta by 2 whole square. And the denominator could be written as, I should have written cos theta by 2 minus sine theta by 2. Okay, this is, uh, this could be written as uh, cos theta by 2 plus sine theta by 2 times cos theta by 2 minus sine theta by 2, right? a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b, right? So you remember that part. So it is, we have used the factoring techniques here. So a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b. And that is a perfect square, correct? Now you can actually simplify it uh, a bit more. That is, you can cancel this term, which is common, right? And then what do you get? 
So let me take it on the right side. So what we get now is y is equal to <coughs> tan inverse cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 minus sine theta by 2, right? So that is what you get. Now, how do you get tan from here? Uh, we can take cos theta by 2 common, right? So we'll divide by cos theta by 2, both numerator and denominator, right? So we get, uh, so what we are doing now is we are dividing the numerator by cos theta by 2 and also the denominator by cos theta by 2, right? All the terms, all the terms. Or you can say we'll factor cos theta by 2, you get 1 plus sine theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2, correct? Which is tan theta, okay? So if you do that, we get 1 plus tan theta by 2 over 1 minus tan theta by 2, correct? So cos theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 is 1, sine theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 is tan theta by 2, correct? And similarly, we get our denominator. So that's what we get. Now here, uh, what can we do? Uh, if you remember tan A plus B formula, which is tan A plus tan B, 1 minus tan A tan B, uh, we can actually write it in that form. So what I will do here is, we can write 1 as tan pi by 4, right? So we could write 1 as tan pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is 1, we know that minus, I mean plus, tan theta by 2. And denominator, we could write this as, we'll keep this as 1 itself, 1 minus. Uh, so I'll write this as tan pi by 4 here also. Okay, let me say why. Okay, so we get this. Where we know that tan pi by 4 is 1, we know tan pi by 4 is 1, right? So if I multiply this by 1, it doesn't really change anything, correct? But it kind of gives you a feel of what we are getting to, right? We are getting to what? The formula tan a plus b, right? So that could be pi by 4 plus theta by 2. This is what we are getting at. So that's the expansion of pi by 4 plus theta by 2. Do you see that? So we replaced 1 with tan pi by 4, that's good. And we introduced 1 here by tan pi by 4 to get you a direct correlation between the formulas. Now, we achieve what we wanted to, tan inverse of tan something, and so we get this y as equals to that thing, right? Which is pi by 4 plus theta by 2. Now it is easy to write down the derivative we have pi by 4 plus theta is what? Theta we substituted as tan inverse x, right? x is tan theta, theta is tan inverse x. So it is tan inverse x. Now, dy dx, differentiate with respect to x, is 0 plus derivative of tan inverse x, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared, correct? So we get our answer, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared, right? So that is how you could solve such questions. Now this could have many variations. We could keep it in denominator, make it minus, and so many other variations. But the strategy is kind of same. So I hope you appreciate this strategy. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post your questions for solutions. Thank you and all the best.